The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Darefield Beach High takes on Sheridan Technical tonight on School Duel. Welcome to the 10th anniversary season of School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. The ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and South Florida Chick-fil-A. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game matches Deerfield Beach High versus Sheridan Technical High School in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. And one more thing before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Here we go. First question deals with leaders. He served as prime minister and president before turning over leadership to his brother, Raul. Name this is Jose. Fidel Castro. Excellent, very good. All right, your next question deals with colors. Red and blue are two primary colors. What is the third? Jose. Yellow. Yes, very good. All right, let's move on to a question about conveniences. This modern convenience was first released in 1955 and was called the Zenith Flashmatic. Name this edition, Jose? Uh, television. Incorrect. Deerfield, name this addition to TVs that assist channel surfing. Andrew. Remote control. Yes, very good. All right, let's move on to settings. To Kill a Mockingbird is loosely based on Harper Lee's experience in this southern state. Name, Samuel? Mississippi. Incorrect, Deerfield Beach, yes. Akansha. Alabama. Alabama is correct, very good. All right, terms. The Commission for the Enrichment of the French Language came up with the word infox, a combination of words meaning information and hoax, to replace what two-word English term often used by Donald Trump to describe, yes, Andrew? Fake news. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Flashback Diner in Davie. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. In art, my sticks may be compressed, but are always black. Name this substance that when made, yes, Sarah? Charcoal. Very good. And here's a little tidbit about charcoal. Charcoal can be used for external use when mixed with water to alleviate pain, itching, and bites. Here we go. Next question deals with car parts. The valve body, the clutch, and the torque converter are among the elements of what part of a car, Andrew? Transmission. Very good. <laughs> Reality TV. Based on a Japanese series featuring difficult obstacle courses, its competitors try to make it Jacob. What is Ninja Warrior? Very good. All right, next question deals with museums. The International Spy Museum is located here, which is also home to most of the Smithsonian Museums. Yes, Jose? Washington, D.C. Very good. All right, elements. What element with atomic number 102 is named for the man who invented dynamite and uses the symbol N-O? Yes, Jose? Nitramine. Incorrect, Deerfield Beach. Sarah? Nitrogen. 
Incorrect, it's Nobelium. Oh, there's our horn, that means the end of the first strike round. We have a close game. Deerfield Beach is leading, they have 50 points. Sheridan Tech right behind them with 40 points. But we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> Hi, my name is Reefy Chandy. I'm currently a medical student at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School in New Jersey. I represented Deerfield Beach High School on School Duel during its second season. I had a great time on the show and I really enjoyed every episode I was on. So happy 10 year anniversary to School Duel and I can't wait to catch the next episode. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Welcome back to School Duel. The first round of action ended with a very tight score between both teams. Deerfield Beach, however, is leading. They have 50 points. Sheridan Technical with 40 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi, I'm Jose. I'm a junior and I'm the team captain. Go Wolves. Hi, I'm Tari. I'm a senior. Go Wolves. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm a junior. Go Wolves! Hi, I'm Jacob. I'm a senior. Go Wolves! Hi, I'm Samuel. I'm a junior. Go Wolves! Smile for the camera. Look at that. Yeah, this was... Hey, go Wolves! Go Wolves! Go Wolves. Hey. What's up, Sheridan Tech right going? here? Go we about to go. We about to kill it. We about to try our best. Wish us luck, Wolves. Let's go. Rawr. Rawr. Sheridan Technical High School, we're going to take a bite out of the competition. Go Wolves! Hey, I'm Sarah, I'm a senior, I'm the captain, and I'm ready to play. Go Bucks! Hi, I'm Evolsa, I'm a senior, go Bucks! Hi, I'm Andrew, I'm a senior, let's catch this W. Noel's caught here, Buck Pride. Hi, my name's Akansha, I'm a senior, go Bucks! Hi, I'm Fahim, I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a mighty Buck. Go Bucks! It's starting. Okay, here we are, backstage, getting ready. Woo! Say hi, Akansha. Oh. <laughs> here we are, on set at school duel. Woo! Do you feel ready? Akansha, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Andy? I'm alright. Ivalsa? <laughs> we hyped! <Woo>! <laughs> Bucks up! Bucks up. One, two, three, butterfly. Butterfly. And let's hear it for both schools. <laughs> okay, now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust, presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head to head with a toss up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, hope you're ready because it's time to joust. 
start with Sarah and Jose. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. In written music, what symbol lowers a note by a half step? Yes, Sarah. Flat. Yes, very good. All right, the following bonus questions all deal with music and telling how many counts a quarter note lasts for in the following. Bonus question number one. How many counts does a quarter note last in two, four time? Andrew. One count. Very good. Bonus question number two. How many counts does a quarter note last in six eighth time? Andrew. Three fourths count. Correct, that would be two counts. And your third bonus question. How many counts does a quarter note last in two two time? Sarah. One half. Very good, all right. Our next two, a conscience Samuel, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. The three Axis powers of World War II included Germany, Italy, and what country? Yes, Akansha? Japan. Very good. Yeah. All right, Deerfield Beats, we're back with you and the following bonus questions all deal with Japan. Bonus question number one. A Japanese wedding ceremony often includes sharing a cup of this wine made from rice. Yes, Andrew? Sake. Very good. Yeah. Bonus question number two. He was emperor of Japan during World War II. Name him. Yes, Akansha. Minamata. The answer is Emperor Hirohito. Bonus question number three. Crowds at Japanese weddings often congratulate the newlyweds by shouting what Japanese word to wish them a long life. Yes, Ivelsa. Opa. I'm sorry, the answer is Banzai. All right, our next two, Andrew, Brian, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Name the document signed at Runnymede and described as the Great Charter of the Liberties of England, 1215. Yes, Brian. Magna Carta. Very good, all right. We are now at Sheridan Technical. And your following bonus questions all deal with the Magna Carta. Bonus question number one. The Magna Carta was written in what language? Samuel. English. Incorrect. It's Latin. Bonus question number two. Its 39th clause gives all free men the right to justice and a fair one of these. Yes, Jose. Trial. Very good. Your third bonus question. The Magna Carta was signed by this British king whose name has never been taken by other monarchs. Brian. George. Incorrect, it's King John. All right, where are my last two contestants? Jacob and Evelsa, come on down. Here's your toss up question worth 10 points. To deliver messages, the French military used thousands of what type of birds during Yes, Avelsa? Pigeon. Yes, very good. Yeah. All right, Deerfield Beats, the following bonus questions all deal with birds. Bonus question number one. Birds may swallow small rocks that end up here and are used to help pulverize what a bird eats because birds don't have teeth. Name the organ. Andrew. Guzzard. Incorrect, it's a gizzard. Bonus question number two. What kind of birds have heart rates often exceeding 1,000 beats per minute? Sarah. Hummingbirds. Yes, very good. Yeah. And your third bonus question, as in humans, this organ purifies a bird's blood. Name the organ. Yes, Avelsa. Liver. Incorrect, it's your kidney. Yeah. All right, there's my buzzer. That means the end to the joust. We have Deerfield Beach leading. They have 120 points. Sheridan Tech has 60 points, but again, don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages.
It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. season of School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now today's game has Deerfield Beach High competing against Sheridan Technical. Currently Deerfield Beach is leading, they have 120 points, Sheridan Technical has 60 points. But it is now time for the rapid action round, and during this round each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. And since Sheridan Technical is trailing, they get to go first, while Deerfield Beach High waits outside the studios for their turn with the same questions. Now today's category is, starts with B as in boy. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter B as in boy, and each question is worth 10 points. Now remember, the teams must answer these quickly or the judge will move them on. All right, here comes rapid action. Sheridan Technical starts with B. Let's cue music and let's go. Second letter of the Greek alphabet. Samuel. Beta. Term for the horizontal side of a triangle. Jose. Base. Animal describing a declining stock market. Samuel. B. Nickname of Milwaukee's NBA team. Jacob. Brewers. First name of the lead actor and director of the latest A Star Is Born film. Ryan. Bradley. A thin, salty soup made from cubes flavored chicken. Yes, Broth. Samuel? Broth. A line that divides an angle into two equal parts. Samuel. Bisection. Former name of Asian country now called Myanmar. Samuel. Brunei. American outlaw shot by Sheriff Pat Garrett. Bonnie. Jose. Hasbro game that requires quick responses to commands. Samuel. Bop it. All right, very good, Sheridan Technical. We got all of your questions. Good job. And let's hear it for Sheridan Technical High. All right, now with a little TV magic, let's bring in Deerfield Beach High. All right, welcome back, Deerfield Beach.
Jamie Chai. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is, starts with B as in boy. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter B. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these questions quickly or the judge is going to move you on. So let's cue music and let's begin. First question, second letter of the Greek alphabet. Andrew. Beta. Term for the horizontal side of a triangle. Sarah. Base. Animal describing a declining stock market. Akansha. Bear. Nickname of Milwaukee's NBA team. Sarah. Browns. The Browns. First name of the lead actor and director of the latest A Star is Born film. Bradley. Ivelsa. Oh, Bradley. A thin, salty soup made from cubes flavored chicken or beef. Sarah. Fruit. A line that divides an angle into two equal parts. Andrew. Bisex. Former name of Asian country now called Myanmar. Burma. Burma. American outlaw shot by Sheriff Pat Garrett. Sarah. Billy the Kid. Hasbro game that requires quick responses to commands. Andrew. Bop it. Okay, very good. All right, that horn means the end to the rapid action round. We do have two questions that both schools missed, so I'll go ahead and go over those. Nickname of Milwaukee's NBA team, it's the Bucks. A thin, yeah, Deerfield, a thin salty soup made from cubes flavored chicken or beef, bouillon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of Rapid Action Round. Jericho Beach is leading with 200 points. Sheridan Technical, they have 110 points. But let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we will be back for the final showdown to see which school moves on to the quarterfinals of School Duel. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. good game going as Deerfield Beach is holding on to their lead over Sheridan Technical. Our current scores, 200 to 110. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. The schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time they are worth 20 points each. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Now this is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with countries. What country's national team, the Socceroos, got its name because it's similar to kangaroos? Jose. Australia. Multiplication. Multiply five squared by two squared. Andrew. 100. Sports. Involving two teams with four players each, in what sport do players use stones and brooms on ice? Samuel. Curling. Companies. In the automotive world, what does the German company BMW, yes, Samuel? Incorrect, Deerfield Beach. Yes, Andrew. Bavarian Motor Works. Instruments. With piano and button varieties, 
What musical instrument is sometimes called a squeeze box? Yes, Samuel. Um, accordion. Shakespeare. Which Shakespeare tragedy is referred to by superstitious actors as the Scottish play Evelsa? Hamlet. Incorrect, Sheridan Tech, I can finish. Okay, Jose. Macbeth. The census. During the last US census in 2010, roughly one third of the population lived in California, New York, Texas, and what other state? Andrew. Florida. Horror. Name this past and recent movie that stars Jamie Lee Curtis as Lori, who meets Michael Myers on a scary October night, Jose? Friday the 13th. Incorrect, Deerfield Beach of Elsa. Halloween. Universities, name the state that is home to Yale University. Samuel. Um, Connecticut. The body, what part of the human body, if cancerous, may be treated with a mastectomy? Jose. The genitalia. Incorrect, Deerfield, Andrew. Breasts. Music. In music, how many half notes in a 4-4 four, four measure? Ryan. Two. Birthplace. This eastern city where Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall was born has an airport named after him and is home to baseball's Oreos and football's Ravens. Jose. Baltimore. Two-word terms. What two-word term from myth describes a software program that looks okay but then damages your computer? Yes, Andrew. Trojan horse. 19th century. Name the 19th century military hero who later became U.S. president, which was nicknamed Old Hickory, and is the namesake of Andrew? Andrew Jackson. The Bible. What biblical character's great strength was lost after Delilah? Samson. Diseases. Until the 1980s, this disease was treated with injections into the stomach. Name this disease caused by a bite. Yes, Andrew? Sheridan, Jose. Evenies. States, which state borders Missouri on its north? Akansha. Kansas. Incorrect, Sheridan Tech. Jose. Iowa. Slogans. Oh, there's our buzzer. And that's how ends the second round school duel game. At Deerfield Beach is ending with 340 points. Sheridan Tech is ending with 310 points. Now, Deerfield Beach, you know what this means. This win is putting you into the quarter finals, so great job. <laughs> and of course, great job to everyone. This also brings an end to the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge, and today's winner is, where's my drum roll? Andrew from Deerfield Beach. Congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. And of course, at this time, we'd like to thank all of you at home for watching, and we'd like to thank our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Don't forget to check out our site at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved, and you can watch past shows. Please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Fort Lauderdale High takes on Everglades High in another great second round match. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.